and welcome to my channel, Faith and Flower. Today we are in my kitchen and I'm giving you guys an updated kitchen tour, which has been requested. Um, I pretty much keep everything organized the same way as I showed you guys in my last kitchen organizing tour, um, but I was a little bit newer to YouTube at that time, so <laughs> hopefully this one will be a little bit more fun to watch. And you guys see my kitchen all the time in my cleaning videos, but I'll be giving you a little bit more detail about how I store and organize things. So if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I'll know to do more like it. So let's get started. I'm going to start with this cabinet that's to the left of our oven and this is where we keep all of our spices at the very top i keep some of the bulk items that i don't need very often and other things like toothpicks and cupcake liners and then i have this um, lazy susan that has these little tupperware containers and i keep a lot of my spices in here and spice blends and the rest of the spices are on these two lower shelves on these lazy susans and on the cabinet below that, I've got our kitchen scale, our salt and pepper, and this is um, a little spoon rest, and the dish that goes in here is in the dishwasher. And then in this cabinet, or drawer, I've got all of our pot holders. And I put this little drawer divider that I got from Amazon in here to just kind of keep everything from shifting around in the drawer when I open and close it. I also have lighter, matches, and most of our pots and pans are in the next two drawers. And I have these felt circles cut out because I used to stack our pots and pans and that would keep them from scratching. So now I just use them to protect the bottom of the drawer. And the rest of the pots and pans. And our oven is a Thermador and I do get a lot of questions about that and it is both um, a gas range and a gas oven. We really enjoy it. It has six burners and it has this griddle, which we really use for all kinds of things for making hamburgers or pancakes or whatever. And to the right of that, I've got um, just some odds and ends, things we don't use on a regular basis at the top. And then on these Lazy Susans, we've got all of our vinegars and oils, soy sauces, hot sauce, things like that and some extra oil stored next to it. And on the counter, I have this um, sort of crock that I keep all of the utensils that I use for cooking because we have non-stick cookware mostly. So none of these things will scratch and I like having those on the counter. So if anybody's helping me cook, they'll know they can use those things and they're safe for our pots and pans. And then in this drawer, oops, I have a bunch more utensils, and this does have things that have metal in it, um, and I have them organized. I had a um, kitchen organization video posted a while back, so I'll link that above if you're interested in some more of the details. And below that, I've got even more kitchen gadgets, although I did pare down and I try to keep just the things that we use. And in this lower drawer, I've got our stainless steel skillet. It's pretty large, so it has a drawer almost to itself. Um, but below that, I do have our cast iron skillet, and I just use these kitchen cloths to sort of protect them from scratching each other. And we've got a screen for frying in there as well. So on this side of the kitchen, to the left of the refrigerator, in this cabinet is where we keep all of our dishes. And on the very top shelf, we have our Christmas dishes, Christmas china. And so we really just use that for the month of December. So it's up there now. But in December, I will swap those so that they're easy to access. And these are our plates and our bowls go here, but they're in the dishwasher. And below that, we've got our electric kettle. 
Um, we use this more in the wintertime when we're making hot tea. And this is our Nespresso machine, which we love because we love Nespresso and we have it as a treat on the weekends. Um, and I actually found this machine to replace a really old one that we had at Goodwill for only $7. So you can have, find some really neat things there once in a while. And in the drawer below that, we, this is where we keep all of our silverware. And up until recently, I had a knife block on the kitchen counter um, and that held all of our knives. But I was able to find this bamboo um, holder for the knives at Ikea recently and it went really well with one that I already had for our utensils. So now I'm able to keep all of those things together in this drawer and it frees up a lot of counter space. Below that we've got the garbage and behind that recycling. And this is our refrigerator. It's also a Thermador. Um, all of our appliances mostly are. And I just recently did a um, refrigerator and freezer organization and clean out video, so I'll link that above so you can get more details about that. And to the right um, is our coffee maker, and it's Thermador, it's a built-in, um, and it's a pretty expensive item, but it came with the house and we're really enjoying it. Um, it does grind the beans and makes excellent coffee. And above that, I kind of like to keep all the things um, for making coffee and tea in here. Again, at the top, we've got things that we don't use on a regular basis, some Christmas glasses and other items. Um, and then on this shelf, I've got like filters for the coffee maker and tea and all of our mugs and things in here. And below this is our freezer drawers. And again, I have that in my video, so I will put that in there if you're interested in the details of that. Next to that, we have our wine column, and we do use it to store wine, but we also use it for other things like sparkling wine, uh, sparkling water, and we've got some orangina in there and bottled water, so we try to keep that full of drinks um, accessible so when we have guests over, they're right here. And to the right of that is where we keep our glassware. And at the top are some items that we don't use too often, but the everyday glasses are right within reach. And below that, usually on this counter, is where we'll keep all of our fruit. And I don't have a lot of things on the counter right now, um, but if we're going to have any fruit flies in the house, which we tend to get some here in Texas, um, this is kind of where they'll be attracted to. So I had talked about it in a previous video that I really like this um, Aunt Fanny's Fly Punch Fruit Fly Trap. <laughs> and I buy those from the Grove Collaborative, but those are really great at catching any of the flies that might congregate over here. And we're doing pretty good with that right now. And in this drawer, we just keep some odds and ends, like a wine opener and some supplements, um, any medications that we might be taking. And in this cabinet below, I've got all of my kombucha supplies. And next to that is the old Nespresso machine, which I'm kind of hanging on to because if, if our newest one breaks, we want to have a backup. And then in our island, I'll kind of take you around. Um, this is an area that we hardly ever access and we have a cabinet under here and we just have some seasonal items, some Christmas things. Um, I had some, put it up for you, like a cake taker, um, a fondue set and various things like that that we just don't really need to get to very often. And the Christmas things are on the other side. And over here, I use this cabinet all the time. This is where we keep all of our glass and ceramic food storage items. And I just use this plastic bin for putting all the lids. So I can slide that in and out and keep those from making a big mess in there. And around this side, we have a microwave drawer. And these are my Norwex cloths, of course. Um, so we really enjoy this drawer. It's really nice because it keeps the microwave sort of out of sight, um, but it's very easy to access. And below that is where I keep um, all of our food storage bags and foil and saran wrap and things. And under the kitchen, I actually have a video that shows you how I organize this. 
It's just very simple. I just like to corral everything in these bins because not in this house, but in a previous house, we had a leak under the sink. And so I just like having those there underneath the pipes. So if ever there were a problem, we could just pull it out and not worry about damaging the bottoms of the cabinets. And this is our dishwasher. And over here, I will just show you our eating area. So this is where we have most of our meals if we're not eating up at the countertop and um, we can seat six people. But since there's just three of us here most of the time, we have the three placemats out. And just to my left over here is our pantry. And I'll just give you a quick glimpse of that. I do have a pantry organization and cleaning tour so you can see a little bit more detail of how I organized this and I will link that above. And these upper cabinets, I do have a few more things for our kitchen. So I'll show you that really quickly. Just a lot of the things that I keep in here are things that I'm not accessing on a regular basis, but that I want to hold on to like popcorn makers and bunt pans and <laughs> things like that. But I also keep our mason jars and all of the mixing and measuring supplies here. So this, this area does get a lot of use. And on this side, again, um, at the top, we've just got like some water bottles that we use every once in a while when we're hiking or something like that. And um, these Melamade dishes and the glasses we can use outside. And these are great, um, they are from Switzerland. They are like little crocks that you can put soup in or bake things in. And then all of my kitchen towels and things I keep here. And then on the counter, I've got a few appliances and the rest of our appliances are in the back of the pantry. So that's pretty much it for our kitchen tour. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that if you like this video, you'll give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.